So I never planned on going to BYU, but that's a story for another time. I did end up going there, and the experience was definitely a mixed bag for me. There are great things about BYU, and there are not so great things about BYU. In this week's video, I will talk about the positives, and why you should go there for school. And in next week's video, I will talk about the negatives, and why you should think twice before attending. Hope you enjoy. This was probably the biggest reason that I went to BYU in the first place. Pretty much every other school that I looked at cost at least two or three times more than BYU. And coming from a poor family, I knew that tuition was going to be a big factor of where I decided to go to college. Some people are surprised how cheap tuition is at BYU, and I also wondered how this could be. The answer is tithing. The following is posted on BYU's website. As BYU's sponsor, the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints subsidizes tuition prices with its members' tithings funds. In principle, each student attending BYU is on scholarship. I didn't know about this until I attended BYU, but I was happy to learn that my tithing helps others receive a quality education. Plus, whenever I met a BYU hater, I would thank them for helping me pay for my schooling. The second reason you should go to BYU is because it's an academically strong university. Here are some rankings from the World Report from US News. BYU is currently ranked 66 in overall national universities. Similar schools in Utah, like the University of Utah and Utah State, are ranked 119th and 205th. BYU also has some of the best business programs in the whole country and are regularly ranked in the top three every year. Their animation program has also produced many award-winning short films and Pixar regularly hires students from their program. I can go on and on about rankings and other stats, but that's not really the point I'm trying to make. The point is that these things don't automatically tell you which school is better, but I do feel it is an important factor to consider when you're weighing where you want to study and what programs you're interested in going into. The third reason you should go to BYU is because you want to get married fast. There are over 33,000 students at BYU, which means you have a lot of dating options. Everyone knows everyone else is a member of the church, so it's super normal to talk to anyone and get their number and ask them out. The stereotype of BYU students getting married quickly at BYU is mostly true. At least that was my experience. I remember there was a girl that I wanted to ask out for a while, but I never did for whatever reason. So one day I looked her up on Facebook to see what she had been up to. And I saw that she just posted that day a picture of her and a new guy that she started dating. I was a little disappointed, but I thought to myself, I'll just ask her out when they break up in a few weeks. So I was walking around campus a few weeks later and I randomly ran into this girl and we started talking. I asked her how things were going and she showed me her hand and she had an engagement ring on her finger. I was pretty shocked because I was pretty sure that they just started dating. So I asked her how long that they had been dating and she said a couple of weeks. And that's when I learned an important lesson at BYU. You need to ask out a girl as soon as possible because chances are the next time you see her she'll be engaged. And those are the main reasons why you should go to BYU. It's a great institution with great value and a great place if you're a YSA member of the church. But it also has its downsides. In next week's video, I am going to discuss the reasons why you should not go to BYU. Comment below if you went to BYU and have other reasons why students should go there. I hope you enjoyed this video and remember to subscribe to keep watching more videos. Talk to you later.